you guys, welcome back to my vlog, this is number 12 and we're jumping into the uh, floor textures creation. Um, as you can see here I'm just in Photoshop and I'm creating my ambient occlusion maps, normal maps and uh, masks. So I've created that through the uh, render to texture method with 3ds Max. And uh, as you can see here right now I'm just sorting out the texture and getting it ready for the Unreal Engine. Here I'm just separating all the masks here because I want the planks of wood for the wooden flooring to have different kind of attributes when um, I begin setting that up. So you can see here I'm just creating various masks and I'm putting them in the diffuse of the ambient occlusion. So I put them in the red channel and the, not the red channel, sorry, the green and blue channel. And here I'm just adding a, a dark texture which I'm going to put on top of the wood so that it's not totally smooth because uh, the wood's not perfect there. That's just like it's normal. I'm just making the normal map for the dark texture there. Uh, and here I'm just tweaking some of the masks because I realised that uh, I put one of the masks in the red channel and it won't actually work properly that way. And here I'm just using a wooden texture, which will be the main diffuse. And in here I'm just in the material editor on Unreal Engine 4. So I first start by uh, setting up my diffuse. Uh, then I'll work to the normals um, and add a few parameters and things so that I can change the uh, size of the planks, the normal map intensity, um, specularity as well. So I'm getting all those attributes set up um, just in the material editor here. And uh, once I start using the floor with this material, I can then set up to how I want it to be. So you can see the kind of preview window there. Just rough how it looks at the moment. It might not look correct, but that's because um, all the nodes here aren't connected up in the moment. I'm just about there, so that's there. Just putting in the final normal maps there. There we go. So that's the instance there. So I'm just tweaking about the the floor, changing some parts in the material editor just until I get right there. So that's using the main kind of living meter and I realise that the, the wood's tiling too much so I, I break up a bit more and also on the kind of raised floor at the main entrance there um, I create a second material instance and then just use a slightly darker wood colour just to kind of break up the floor as you can see there just breaking it up there so that's not the final uh, setup there because I do realise that the lighting in the room's going to change and things like that but I'm just trying to get a kind of rough idea there so I want to see some reflections in the floor there. So there's a lot of kind of running about there just trying to see how it looks. So in here I'm just uh, going back to 3ds Max and I'm looking at the kitchen floor. So I want that to be um, like a tiled, almost like ceramic kind of surface there. And I'm just playing about with shapes here. So I'm using a very similar method to the, the wooden planks. I'm just really creating a, a tileable section here which uh, once multiplied everywhere it will then line up and there won't be any obvious seams or anything like that so just playing about with shapes here again eventually I'll go with something quite simple just here so, sort of like a almost like a diamond shape with the, the squares I think it's quite cool so I export that and bring it into um, bring it to ZBrush and uh, what I do is I just create some kind of cracks and bumps here and there because uh, the tails aren't perfect cause yeah, because you can imagine that if you're walking on it, it's going to have wear and tear and things like that. So I'm adding that in here. It's just a really simple method. I use the uh, the clay brush just to kind of bump in the edges. Then I use the standard tool to create some surface um, uh, deformations there. Then just using the flat brush just to kind of flatten it all out. Uh, but in ZBrush here, I like to just put each section in different uh, polygroups. So I'm working on the big tiles here. And then I'll move on to the uh, the smaller tiles. You can see there, it's super handy, for, especially for tileable floors. ZBrush is excellent for that. Um, you can be really creative here, and um, it's just trying to not make the objects just seem like they've just been built in a 3D package. I'm trying to you know, look a bit more natural. So I finished the sculpt in there. Um, and what I use is a decimation master plugin. Uh, just in ZBrush because when I bring in the floor here it's like 3 million polygons and when I start trying to navigate it just it 
you know the the program's like near enough crashing so I use the decimation master and get it to down to about 600,000 so here I'm just setting up all the shaders just for the, uh, the final baking of that that's the ambient occlusion, the mask and the normal map I think the first time here while I was recording it crashed but uh, sorted that out so you can see there that the normal map there was just flipping the green channel, the normal because it'll look like it's inside um, yeah so I'm just really again setting up the texture ready for the Unreal Engine there yeah, doing all the masks and all that again and that's it so um, what I'm going to be doing next is uh, I'm going to set up that kitchen floor in the Unreal Engine um, and then I want to start looking at the uh, just all the various assets in the, the main living room area and I want to just start building them up bring them into Unreal Engine just see how they look and then after that I'm going to start looking at the, the various shaders I'm going to use for each of the objects so some of the, the objects will use some more shaders or should I say uh, materials um, but I'll be, I'll be playing about with that um, again I'm trying to go for more realistic um, look so um, that, that's what I want to achieve with this uh, project anyway um, but yeah so that's what I've done today uh, I will speak to you very soon and I'll uh, give you another update on that